How's it going, everybody? So today I'm going to be checking out the brand new song from the band Issa. The name of this song is Live Again. And uh, I had listened to the previous single off channel. Uh, it was called Lights of Japan. And I was quite impressed. It was the first time I have actually listened to the band. Uh, I've never listened to anything prior to that. Uh, but uh, I was like, oh man, yeah, this is really solid. So when they released this new uh, single, Live Again, I, I just felt like I really wanted to do a reaction to it. And uh, yeah, so here I am, uh, going to be checking this out. Uh, again, the band is called Issa. The name of the song is Live Again. And I'm hoping for some just really solid melodic rock AOR music here. But uh, without further ado, let's give it a listen. Rangers, go. Faded feeling, roller coaster of emotions in my mind. Am I dreaming, or is it just another lonely day of mine? Fighting on my own, with no shelter and no home, but deep inside. The keyboard, uh, the keyboard there, uh, just great. The, the, the way it starts out and 
it just really kind of sets the tone, sets the mood, sets the uh, ambiance for the song. You know, it lets you know right off the rip that you're getting into some melodic rock AOR, you know, style music. So I really, really love the, the keyboard here. Um, and another thing I really noticed was the bass. Oh, you could really, really hear the bass nice and full, just chugging along. Uh, kind of in the background, but you could really, really hear it, and it was helping to really drive the momentum uh, of the song, and the vocals are really great, it's great range, great delivery, great strength in her voice, you know, especially when she's really emphasizing certain words or, or certain moments, so uh, just really, really solid there. Um, the solo was tight. Uh, and yeah, I, 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 I did really enjoy the song. I like the verses, how it kind of steps back for a moment, you know, so the verses kind of just, uh, just uh, again, it's like the song, it kind of starts with this momentum and then takes a step back for the verses to, to really kind of like settle in, let you really uh, get into the song, really get into the vibe, and then it kind of takes off again. I really like the momentum and the sound of the, uh, what I think is the pre-chorus, I really enjoyed that uh, quite a bit. It just has this brightness, this really kind of uh, just upward trajectory with it, I, I guess building to the chorus. But yeah, I really like that pre-chorus moment, it, it, especially with the keyboard. It, it just really has a nice sound and a, a nice energy. And the chorus is nice and hard hitting too and, and somewhat catchy and you know, you, you get into it. Particularly, I think the vocals really help sell the chorus and uh, whatnot. And the drum work was good too. You know, there's there's moments where the, the drums are really kind of hidden, you know, kind of with the guitar and the bass to really kind of emphasize certain moments to just to add that hard hitting kind of aspect to the song uh, to keep a little bit of heaviness somewhat. Uh, so yeah, I, I enjoyed it uh, to say the least, but you know, the only thing about it, I reckon, is kind of, it has a, a very standard kind of songwriting uh, style. You know, the, the song, the format, the layout, everything is, is quite predictable. Um, once it gets going, you, you already kind of know what to expect. You know, once the song started and, and has kind of gotten in a little bit, it's like you already kind of know the rest of the song before the rest of the song has even taken place. So, you know, from that side of things, it definitely does have kind of a, a standard fare sort of vibe to it as far as melodic rock goes. It's not anything that, that breaks the mold or, or, or really just makes you like, wow, wow, you know, th th this is really something here. So, you know, from the songwriting side, it, it, it's a little lacking, in my opinion, uh, because again, it's somewhat cookie cutter, and it's quite predictable. But um, that aside, that's not to discount the musicianship and, and the vocal prowess on display here, because that helps kind of keep it a, a, above standard fare, um, just because of the, the talent involved and the way that everything is delivered. Um, so yeah, you know, it kind of, it kind of wavers there for me. It, 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 like I said, songwriting, kind of standard fare, very predictable, very cookie cutter arrangement and all of that. But um, the, the, the talent here and the way that they do it, uh, it takes it a little bit above standard fare for me, just because um, they do it with such expertise. Uh, so, yeah, you know, it's a solid melodic rock song here. Um, yeah, I dig it. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you listened to the previous single, Lights of Japan. Have, have you been listening to this band for quite some time? Uh, what do you think of them? Are, are you big fans? What do you think of this song here? Um, uh, did you like it? Were you kind of iffy? You know, how'd you feel? Let's talk about it all in the comments down below. Are you looking forward to the new album? Uh, I am. I, I think there's going to be some some nice little gems on the new album, so I'm definitely looking forward to it. Very talented band here, but uh, yeah, let's talk about it. And thank you all so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you all next time, Ranger. Out.